You're still watching Midday Live and he's all set and ready to give us the latest in business. Koku, I understand some analysts are, are saying it's too early to judge the economy whether it's bouncing back after the election petition. But what is government also saying? Well, definitely government is positive. Now, I remember this particular question was one you put across to me just about a few days ago, thinking about how business is going to look like now. After the Supreme Court verdict is over, there is a lot of optimism in and around. We'll go to the presidency and we'll give you up to the minute details but don't you forget there could be some good news for cocoa farmers especially in and around this time so when we're back we'll talk about nothing than absolute business All right, my name would be Kweku Timin. Now, details of our stories. We have government is highly optimistic. Business and investor activities will pick up following the Supreme Court verdict. A government spokesperson, Mutala Mohammed, says government is successful. Government's successful adjudication of the election petition case has sent very positive signals about the country to the investor community. The details is with our correspondent, Kujo Hayford. He first expressed government's appreciation to Labour for accepting the 10% increment in the base pay. The 10% invariably has increased it from 4.82 Ghana cities to 5.32 Ghana cities as a minimum wage. The effect date of the implementation is of, uh, of the new base raise will be somewhere January, January 2013. Mutala Mohammed also noted the load of uncertainty that was hanging on government's neck would now make way for action in the implementation of government's programs. Let us also agree that these were challenging times. They were challenging times because there was a cloud of uncertainty, particularly by the business community who otherwise would have loved to invest. Many people were holding on because people were in court and the kind of reportage to some extent that was given, people were apprehensive. Now that that is over, we have no doubt in mind that we will be able to implement the promises that we made in 2012, for which reason the good people of this country overwhelmingly voted for His Excellency President John Dramani Mahama. All right, so investor confidence, very positive. Now, we will stay on the beat. We'll tell you about it. We'll monitor activities. But just before then, let me just take you around to the commodity market. Cocoa might not be looking too good, but cocoa farmers could be smiling, especially around this time after government is looking at getting them all their bonuses. Now, this is the details. Over 6,000 cocoa farmers in six cocoa growing districts in the Ashanti region and the Bunohafu regions have received 537,306 US dollars as bonuses in the cash and inputs disbursed by the produce buying company will represent the figure represents some of the premiums that the farmers are supposed to be getting more details in this particular story Special districts are in Kawe, Juaso, New Edubriasi A and B, Sunyai and Kasapeng. The goal of the project is to increase production, promote proper handling of agrochemicals, and prevent deforestation and child labor. To achieve this objective, the selected farmers were taken through training on good agricultural practices, good environmental practices, and good social practices. At Edeba, at Edubiasi in the Ashanti region, the managing director of the produce buying company, Kojo Atakra, disclosed that $232,600 will go to farmers by way of cash and inputs distribution, 242 motorized sprayers, and $6,150 Wellington boots. The yields that we get from our farms is rather low compared to what we get from other countries. So the objective, primary objective is to employ various agricultural practices, husbandry practices, that will enable farmers to get a higher yield. The head of sustainability, Tartan, Joseph Larose, reiterated the company's commitment to invest in the capacity building of farmers' groups.
definitely Coco Farmers could be smiling at that point. So I'll tell you shortly about how the Ghana City has performed against other major trading currencies. Around this time, and as we stood the test of time, showing some positivity, especially with the injection of a lot of foreign currencies into the country. I'll tell you about the British funds versus exactly on your screens, the buying and the selling rate. You can get it at 3 Ghana cities, 08 pesos, and then 3 Ghana cities, 09 pesos. Those are some updates with the British pound on a local forex market that about the u.s dollar now you should remember that a lot of agitations in and around pushing mark pressure on the u.s dollar especially around this time the ghana city has seen itself work strong against the u.s dollar trading at one ghana cities 994 Pesos. It has also been sold on an interbank market and a local for experience in and around one Ghana City 997. So just that marginal inch up there. Some local for experience equally have it at one two two Ghana cities. So one dollar to two Ghana cities. We'll give you more updates on it later in our subsequent bulletins. My name is Quick Tamimini. Thanks for staying with us.